Hello everyone. In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to upload multiple images for product model. I received some comments on how to update the images. In this video, I am going to show you how to delete and add more images to the product model. This is the GitHub repo of multiple uploads video. I have a link in description if you have not watched it. Let's copy this link and clone the repo first. Let's change the directory and install the dependencies with Composer install. Now, we will open the project in Visual Studio Code. Let's rename the .env example file to .env. Next step is to generate application key. Now, we will create the database for our application. Let's configure our .env file to connect to our database by specifying correct database name, username and password. Let's run our migrations to create tables in database. Run the server. This is the old project. Let's check if our multiple images upload functionality is still working. Product was added successfully. Let's check the images next. We will add a delete button below every image now. Let's open the images blade file and add a delete button below the image tag. Let's center the button and add a top margin. Let's define the href attribute of the link. We will create this root later. The root will accept the image ID. Let's add this root to our web.php file. This will be a get root that accepts image ID and will be handled by the remove image method in the product controller. Now, we will create the remove image method in the product controller. First, we will find the image. If the image ID is invalid, we will abort and display a not found page. Next, if the image record exists, we will first delete the image using php unlink method. 
be sure to pass the correct path to the unlink method to avoid error. I am passing the product underscore images here because the images are stored in the product underscore images folder inside public folder. Let's append the image name for the correct path of the image. After deleting the image, delete the image record in the database table as well. Let's check. Image was deleted but I forgot to write necessary code to display success message. Let's do that next. We already have an alert in the welcome page. So let's copy and paste that. Let's change the message to whatever is in the success variable. Let's check. The first part is now complete. Next we will work on adding more images to existing product. We will add a form to add more images. We can copy and paste the input tag from the welcome view for this. We will also copy and paste the submit button. We will add method of post, ENC type and CSRF to the form. Let's change some styling and text in the form. Form looks good now. Let's add the root to the action attribute. It will accept the product ID. Let's create the root next. This is going to be a post root which accepts the product ID and will be handled by the add images method in the product controller.
Let's create the add images method in the product controller. We will find if the product exists first. Now we need to add the images to the existing product. We will copy and paste the logic from the store method. Let's make some simple changes. Let's choose more images to add to this product. Let's add some more images. Let's also check the delete functionality one last time. This is how you update the images. Thank you for watching this video. Comment any queries and suggestions. Please consider subscribing for more content on web development.